This is the week that we start talking to superintendents all over Central Texas and bring you their interviews yeah. right here on KXAN News Today. We're starting over at Lake Travis ISD where there's a problem that's plagued that district all year long. I talked with the superintendent there, Paul Norton, about hiring more bus drivers, but we started our conversation on safety. So much of the focus going into this school year was on school safety after what happened in Uvalde and all the districts were inspected by the state. How did Lake Travis do and, and what have you been doing on school safety? Sure, since the incident happened in Uvalde last May, it's been a huge point of emphasis for just about every school district, uh, school safety, and no different here in Lake Travis. School safety has been very important for many years, and so we have looked at our safety plan. We've been very fortunate. We have our own police department uh, that allows us to implement some things and do some things that other districts may not be able to imp implement quite as quickly. We have had a safety audit from the state of Texas. Uh, we scored great. No deficiencies, no issues at all. Staffing is a big issue for sure. a lot of school districts. And, and I looked this morning, there's 117 openings in your district. What is Lake Travis doing to, to get more people and, and how is that impacting things? Sure, the 117, that's positions that we have posted. And so some of those are in preparation for next year. So we don't necessarily have 117 openings right now. Our biggest concerns and shortfalls right now are bus drivers. Uh, continue to be a shortage area for us and then in the area of special ed. Uh, we continue to have shortage with special ed teachers, special ed aides, and that's something that we're constantly working on. Uh, we've been going to different job fairs, we've been working with different groups to try to improve our numbers uh, in that area, as well as in food service. Are there still students who need a ride to school but can't get a ride to school because there's just not enough drivers? Sure, we're short uh, about 35 to 40 bus drivers. Um, and so as we continue to grow as a school district, that's going to be more and more of a, a struggle for us to try to find ways, innovative ways to hire bus drivers. We know the state legislature is going to be working with a significant budget surplus. Are there some things that you would like them to direct that money toward? Sure. The first thing is to address the staffing shortages and how we do that is to put more money into education. And so uh, one of our top legislative priorities is funding for schools. Uh, since the last funding increase for educators, uh, which was in 2019, the cost of living in index has gone up 12% and we have not received 1% of an increase. And so that is a big push for us this legislative session. Paul Norton with Lake Travis ISD, thank you for your time. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate you coming in today. You can catch our interviews with local superintendents all week. Tomorrow, I know you're going to be talking yes. with Leander ISD. Interested to hear what they have to say. As for the bus driver position, starting at $23 an hour, oh, wow. up to $33 an hour, though. Uh, and you can watch that full interview right now at KXAN.com. So you guys are going